Hello my darlings, welcome back to my channel and for you who are new to my channel, welcome and remember to subscribe it down there. So today I am going to talk about how to survive as international student aka uh, exchanging student in Norway. So a lot of you guys have been asking me like asking me about how like to apply for apartment to find friends and everything about that. So today I'm gonna I'm just gonna go just in there to make this very short and give you tips. So tips number one is to plan your staying here in Norway. How to how you're gonna stay and how you're gonna like just plan before you come in here even just for traveling or even though to study so start like if you're studying and uh, like into and uh, just like an international student you have to like to plan ahead and try to save money because Norway, Norway is expensive country to live in so just remember to plan is very important so they have like a student apartments but a lot of uh, study students here in Norway they always apply like beforehand so you have to also to apply before you come in here to Norway so you don't have any place to live so you have to plan that and uh, but if because sometimes it's full and you can't even get in so you have to find a new place to live in and you can always go check it out a website called fin.com so you can click and, and then you can find an apartment there and of course you have to when you're here in Norway and you have your own apartment or you're sharing with someone else because it's expensive to have to just live by yourself then you have to have a budget so a budget is very good to have because of course Norway is very very expensive food expensive everything is expensive so have a budget and save money and just do planning just to so you don't like struggling here because you want to make a good experience and if you don't have any money any plan it's gonna be a bad experience and that's the tips number one what is think think number one and two so tips number three is to prepare for winter we have winter here and it's snowing so just prepare to buy a winter class and everything you are going to need in winter because it's freezing here okay it's cold so that's tip number three and tips number four is like you have own budget you know and you have a port apartment and you have saving a little bit of money I don't know but that money is not gonna last for the whole three years you're studying here so you have to get a part part-time job so in no way you can have a part-time job if you're studying more than one year so that's the law so you can just study if you're studying more than one year you have a right to get a part-time uh, part job but of course you know we are we speak Norwegian so it's gonna be a little bit difficult I can't lie for you guys it's gonna be difficult to find a part-time job because they want to you know upload someone speak Norwegian but you can work as a bartender or at a restaurant or hot like um hotel who, who? hotels <laughs> so you can work in there because they always need anyone who speak English you know and that's really good like hotels is very good because people from other country are also coming there so if you're speaking English it's gonna be good because every Norwegian are very good in speaking English so don't worry about that you will find people who's better than me in speaking English so don't think about that so that would be difficult so if you find a apartment job yay that's good then you just have to you know work part-time when you go to school so that's the tips number four and tips number five it's uh, you have like you have school you have your budget you have um, with your clothes and you have a part-time job you start feeling like Norwegian you know you feel like I'm a part of the society so but you also are getting lonely because you don't have any friend to spend your free time with sometime maybe you want to make experience you maybe you want to go on adventure and see Trolltunga go to Savangye like to do everything then you just want to have someone to enjoy it with 
and maybe learn in Norwegian. So you have to make friends. Uh, so the first tips you can make friends is at university, of course your classmate just go in there don't be a creep and be like i don't have any friend please let's be friends that's creepy okay just you know you know how to make friends don't you when you go into new school you do yes so you know what i mean so just if you see someone you want to be friend with and you see her at a library and she's like studying alone and you'll be like hmm, i want to get to know her you can just like go uh, to her and be like excuse me I saw you in my class if you, if you go in, in class with her I saw you in my class are you doing the same assignment and if she say yes you can you can be yes can we do this together because I don't understand it and then you can just study to do together don't invite her at a cafe at the same like that like moment just wait a little bit just get to like Say if you're when you're done with the summer, yeah, just say yeah. It's so nice for you to help me. Uh, hopefully to see you again in a class. You'd be like yeah, bye. You know, don't be a creep and be like, let's go out. Let's just be friends. Yeah, no, 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 that's creepy. So just like and then when you see her in the classroom next time you're coming, you can be smiling and wink and be like, I know you. You know, like we talk. So you just like you get that. You know, like I know you. you so that's more that's how you make friends guys okay but if you are really shy person and be like Kalima you know what like I can't even approach my mom I'm not shy I can help you that because if I know people can be shy and just like that yeah, don't take the first step you know because they'll be thinking they'll be judged everybody can judge so who cares so you maybe if you're thinking about like no maybe she don't want to talk to me you know you're so shy and unsure i can help you so tips number one <laughs> just kidding so tips number one is just get out of your shell girl boy okay because you're in your country you have to be open if you're open then the door will open and people will get in to get to know you so be open be open-minded be positive that's the important thing to make friends and but the other thing you can do is get an app like tinder it's the app called hey vina but it's called just vina and i can it's here so it's called vina and you can upload up app store or android i don't know i don't have android app store if you have an iphone app store you go in there download that shit and it's um very good because if you're new in town just move to the country and you don't know anyone and you're shy to speak to anyone in your classroom then you have to get this app girl that app is your life that's how to make friends and for yeah another tips is how to like to learn Norwegian you want to learn Norwegian there will be much easier for you to learn Norwegian so it's to have friends it's, it's going much faster if you have a Norwegian friend to help you out but you can also read study to learn it listen to some book like um, broadcasts you know so that's it's very important to just like to know phrases in Norwegian so you can also have a good time you don't have like to just always be the person who always speak English so that's how to like to survive as a like um, international student remember to just enjoy yourself and make the best experience and just travel see Norway and make friends so that's the tips for today. It was a little bit long video. I'm so sorry about that. I said it was gonna be short, but obviously I like to talk. So if you don't like me to talk about anything more, that's it for today, guys. So I hope you got to learn new thing about how to survive as a student in Norway. And if you have more questions, just write, write it on the comment. And if you are liking this video, push on the button and remember to subscribe for you who are new to my channel and I will try to upload new video every month
no weeks. Yeah, we were thinking about every day. Every day. No, every month because I work and I have a life. And I like to be in, in front of, of the camera, obviously, but it's just my hobby and I like it. It's so just like I'm not YouTuber, you know what I mean? Just I just like to, you know, talk and get to know you guys and just to tell you tell you some stupid shit. So that's for today and uh, hopefully see you soon.